Yo, what's up guys, Boss here, and I'm back from the YouTube video, and this time we're going to be doing something different. I'm going to be using a deck that you probably never seen before, unless you watch B-Rad. He made this deck, I made one substitution, I put in the Rage for the Log just to make it a super speedy balloon. So, if you guys don't know what speedy balloon is, B-Rad made a video on it. I thought the deck was really fun, I tried it out yesterday when I was streaming. I stream on Twitch, by the way, if you guys didn't know. I, you know, it's not, of course it's not a meta deck, like you're not going to be able to win every single game with it, but when you lose a game, it doesn't even feel as bad because you know you're not using like, you know, a serious deck, and if you win, it feels more satisfying, and I wanted to kind of mix things up because the meta's been the exact same the last three months, and the crazy thing is this deck, I mean, it's not even horrible, I've been winning probably about 50% of my games with it, and it's just super fun because what you do is you go for a skeleton barrel and then you go for a balloon in front of it rage it and if your opponent isn't expecting it you could take their whole tower in the first push you do and then depending on what they use their your inferno could just defend their whole counter push let's say they're using rg or lava hounds you know golem just thinking of some win conditions right now, you could shut that all down with an Inferno, some Skeletons, and a Knight. So this deck is actually like just pretty annoying. Um, it's really fun to play. Um, before we get the first game, if you guys want to support me, use my code BOSS in any Super Soul game. Appreciate all you guys using my code. It means a lot. So 1,289th in the world, nothing crazy. Um, it's early season. That's why I wanted to do this kind of video. You know, like let me know if you guys enjoy this kind of video. Um, where like I use something that's like not really meta and you know kind of like it like it's kind of like it's honestly for fun I mean you know obviously you still win a lot of games with it but you know it's obviously not a meta deck but you can win like quite a lot of games with it just because the surprise factor like watch this he cycles bomber Valk so we go balloon skeleton barrel at the bridge in the opposite lane he drops the mega knight he actually ends up panicking and he plays it he, he plays it, I get, what do you call it, I guess late, right? Because he the skeletons ended up... Uh, okay, I don't... So we, we can't defend our tower, there's no way. But what we can try to do is make it so he gets like no damage on our king tower. Um, okay, so yeah, we know what he's using now. He's got kind of some like Mega Knight Bridge Spam deck, it looks like. Our Inferno could get a lot of value, especially if he doesn't have Zap, but he probably does, to be honest, so we'll have to see. I think here we pressure and go for the King Tower opposite lane of the Bomber, and he's got a Ram Rider. So Skeleton Barrel pops, kills the Bats, and gets a little bit of damage on the King Tower. Okay, so pretty good defense, and we outcycled a lot of his air counters. So the question is, do we apply pressure right now? Hmm. I think we go in here. We It's like now or never because we've taken so much damage. Oh my, <laughs> we got it. Oh my gosh. That's the thing with this deck, you never know if you're gonna... Sometimes you never know if you're gonna win or not, because it really can just take one push. Um, because you have such a fast cycle, 3.0, you know, you can just cycle much faster than your opponent in lots of matchups, so by the time you get another super speedy balloon push ready, you likely outcycled their air counter. So, I mean, we, just, we three crowned him... I mean, just basically off of one push because the couple I played before didn't work, right? Like, he had his air counters at the ready, like the Ram Rider, bats and all that. But that time around, he didn't have the Ram Rider in cycle, so he couldn't defend. Um, but yeah, some matchups, your Inferno isn't going to get too much value. That's the thing. So this guy's going to go for Archers here. Um, I feel like Expo wouldn't really be something I want to see, so I'm kind of hoping it's Hog or something. We don't know yet until he uses more cards. Ooh, it it actually could be graveyard. I ooh, it's 
balloon, okay. Yeah, we're just going to need to snowball this to ensure that it doesn't get a connection. And yeah, at this point, he probably thinks we're using balloon, but he doesn't know that what, what our balloon deck is. I can tell you that right now. But of course he knows we're using a balloon deck because what other deck has Inferno and Archers? I guess we go in here, try to catch him off guard. Obviously, he probably does have a bomb tower. What's really good, though, is that he doesn't... Um, I was going to say have his snowball in cycle, so he has to commit a lot of elixir to taking it out. And at this point, he's probably really confused, thinking like, what the heck is going on? Like, what am I using? Um, so we don't have that surprise factor anymore, but we can try to outcycle him. Um, I don't think it's going to be easy because he has a pretty fast cycle too, but we'll see if we can get something to work here. Uh, I'm going to cycle archers, I think. And yeah, we just make sure we ought to save our Inferno, basically. We could try to bypass two, so we can go for like a Skeleton Barrel like this off to the side, so it's more, so so it's it could get pushed. I think that's, you know, worth a try. Again, it's going to be very hard for us to get a Balloon Connection, I feel like, but if we can keep accumulating death damage and keeping the pressure up, that could be really solid. I say we go for a knight this time to tank. And then, you know what? We're going to juke him out. Look at that. He just pre-placed the bomb tower. That could be huge. Oh, he mistimed the log a little bit, so we get death damage. And a couple skeleton hits. We go for an inferno like this. He goes for the prediction, well played. Um, I don't think there's any way that balloon gets hit, though, especially if I just snowball it back. In fact, I, is that in, yeah, that's death damage, I think, unfortunately. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Mm, oh my gosh, wow. Ah, the balloon was so close to getting one more hit. Oh my gosh. He almost threw that game like he misclicked the bomb tower. Wow, that was so close. Yeah, that, that, um, wow. Okay, that's unfortunate. You Yeah, you guys saw that. The balloon, my balloon on his tower was so close to getting another hit. So close. Um... Man, maybe I should have gone for an Inferno or something, but I really wanted to get that Rage down because I thought it would be the best chance we had of taking his tower, but oh my god, that, that got so close at the end. It was really unlucky. Um, Alright, let's see what this guy's got here. Um, I kind of just... You know what? I think we just set up for a super speedy balloon right now. Because he's not going to expect it. I mean, like... And he misclicked the tornado. <laughs> and he missed the fireball. It didn't hit the skeleton barrel. This is what I'm saying. Um, People don't expect it, and they make mistakes. Kind of like that last guy. He almost messed up at the end by misclicking the bomb tower. But, man, it was barely not enough. So, yeah, this guy... Pretty sure he has Sparky most likely because he has Tornado E Wiz and I don't know what else this could possibly be. So he's gonna go for the Sparky. I say we go for a speedy balloon in the not a super speedy balloon because we're not pairing it with the rage, it's just a speedy balloon. Remember that. Without the rage, it's just a speedy balloon. With the rage, it's a super speedy balloon. Very important to remember. Then we can just go for the Inferno. And he just used his zap, so rip his push he's not really going to be able to do anything inferno is going to take out everything and yeah so yeah um as you guys can tell this deck i really enjoy i i this is fun as i said this is one of the most fun decks i've played in a very long time you can tell as i'm commentating i'm not even taking it very seriously because like i'm just having fun how could you even take this deck seriously like i don't even know but yeah this you know as i said this is this has been the most fun 
I've had playing a deck in a while because it's been the same meta. That's why I wanted to make a video on this deck in the first place. So let me know if you guys would like to see more of these kinds of like videos and decks. Um, anyway, looks like we're going to be able to kind of space out his push a little bit because we forced the E-Wiz in the other lane. We can go for Skellies just like this. We can go for a Knight. And then we can go for Archers to surround the Sparky. Skelly's last second, so the Sparky doesn't shoot our tower. Pretty perfect defense, I would say. Um, that's the thing. Some matchups, your Inferno actually is all you need on defense. Like, versus RG, Golem, and I guess Giant Sparky here, too. You're seeing it, so... But then there's other matchups where obviously the Inferno isn't enough. That's why I said you can't win like every game with this deck. Even though your offense is broken, your defense can sometimes be not very good in certain matchups. Especially if you reverse like Royal Recruits too. Um, but pretty flawless. That game was pretty flawless defense. Really easy. I mean, he had no way of breaking through because we could cycle to as many Infernos as we wanted to. And unless like I make a big mistake, I should defend his pushes every time. So we don't have our balloon in cycle, so we can't start with a super speedy balloon, unfortunately. We're going to have to wait a little bit. Um, he is going to go for his flying machine. Uh, we could just go ahead and cycle our knight, and I'm going to have to cycle a snowball as well, most likely. We we don't need to do that on that, because that'll just take it out by itself. Um, so you know what? Here we go. We're going in. Flying machine's out of cycle. Um, we're going in for, let's make it a super speedy balloon, not a speedy balloon, we're going to do super, because um, I kind of want to take the tower here, and tower falls, just like that, tower is gone. Um, one super speedy balloon push, all we needed, because the cycle was messed up, and best part is he doesn't even know that we have an inferno tower. Now, the problem is, is he does have a clone, and we don't really have anything for his clone, so he could end up taking our tower in one push, which is very unfortunate, but... At least we, our super speedy balloon ended up paying off. That's really all that matters. Um, I guess we could just go for a snowball like this. We end up hitting the majority. As I mean, here's the thing. As long as this doesn't three crown us, I guess it's still kind of a win in my book. I don't, I don't really know. We might have to go for like a defensive skeleton barrel like this. So it kind of pops and kills everything. And then go for like kind of like a knight like that. And then pray that he doesn't three crown us immediately yeah um well uh yeah hmm yeah well um here i i don't know if we're supposed to go for the three crown or maybe we go for the two crown i don't know what the best thing to do in this situation probably our best bet there's a minute left so we need to try to like I think we just have to go for it, go for the speedy balloon now, super speedy balloon, excuse me. Um, is that tower? Okay, okay, here's the thing, if we can just defend this somehow, I don't think we can. Ooh, please, I... Yeah, no, we, we can't, we can't, that's, that's unfortunate, but yeah, we can't. We had nothing for the clone. Regular golem decks are really easy, and that's what I was beating a lot yesterday, but clone, nah, there's not much for the clone, but, you know, doing alright. I mean, at least we took his tower first push. I don't know. We, I mean, that was satisfying, but yeah, couldn't defend. Guess we go for a snowball here. Is it go archers? Ooh, it's gonna go princess. Alright, well, um, I say we do it now. Try to catch him off guard. Because he was aggressive with that princess. Oh, he missed the rocket. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Super speedy balloon catches your opponent off guard. Whereas when you just have speedy balloon. And we already won. That's good game. In fact, I'm going to even 
say good game. Because, I mean, that was a good game. We, we won instantly. I mean, it would be nice if all games were that easy, but wow, I'll, I'll take it. So, what are we at now? We got a win, got a loss, we got a win, got a loss, got a win. Okay, can we get two wins in a row and not, like, this back and forth stuff? We want two wins in a row. Come on, come on, come on. Give us some good luck. Honestly, like, a little lucky because ideally... All right, here we go. So log bait again. We just beat it. Can we beat it? This is the thing. Without the log, I feel like log bait is harder. But if the but if he misses a rocket again, like the last guy just did, we obviously have a chance. So let's see if we can make it happen. All right, here we go. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Okay, so he didn't miss the rocket, but... He played it too late, and we still got a connection. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good at this point. We're just going to do this. And his Inferno is not back in rotation yet. I believe we're probably up Elixir because he just went for f four. I defended it for, mm, well, I don't know. All I know is he doesn't have a rocket back in cycle. He has to go for an Inferno here. Yeah, that didn't really pay off. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. This is not lo this is not looking great at this point. I'm, I'm gonna go for a knight like this. We gotta somehow try to defend this as best as we can. Not bad, I guess. If he goes for like, yeah, that's that's yeah, uh, that's. That is really, really annoying. Um, yeah, that that's that's okay. Yeah, uh, that's even more annoying. Yeah, the worst part is I can't even do anything about it. So we're just gonna have to, I guess, cry about it because that's really all we can do. Yeah, we're just going to have to cry because these princesses are... Yeah, yeah. I, I, it, all we can really do is cry about it. We, we can't really... Let's see. I mean, maybe he, like, misses a rocket. No, he learned his lesson. See, that's why the first time it works, but it's like, after that, they know what they're doing, and they're not going to mess up. Unless, unless he's low on elixir right now. Come on, speedy balloon. Uh, man, we I, two wins in a row. That was all I was asking for. Two wins in a row. But instead, we're getting this back and forth, back and forth. You know. But that's how ladder is sometimes. So, you know, what more do I expect? Win, loss, win, loss. All right, well, here's the thing. We'll play one or two more games. Can we get two wins in a row here? Maybe. I don't know. But this proves that this deck has about a 50% win rate. If I'm, if, you know, if I'm winning, like, which honestly I'm fine with. It just means I'm not going to move up at all. I'm just going to be stuck in the same place. But at least I'm not tilting. Yeah, all right, well. So a hog. I'm fine with a hog. I mean, we got Inferno for that. I didn't have it in cycle, which sucks, but still prevent all hits, which is ideal. Um, all right, well, I'm going to kind of do this right now because he cycled his Ice Wizard. And that's going to almost take the tower if he doesn't... Well, not almost, but do a lot. Okay, so yeah... He's got, a, he's got a NATO, that's going to help a lot, but if he doesn't have a building, then I guess I'm fine. We actually have to, we're going to just counter the hog with only skeletons, because I had to defend the left side. Luckily that knight was really, really good, and ended up actually retargeting the magic archer onto the, to the knight, so it didn't get as much damage on our tower, so we're actually in a solid position right now. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and 
going for a super speedy balloon because he doesn't have a tornado in cycle he might have one back in cycle now no so he actually does have a bomb tower yeah that's um that's pretty frustrating because that's obviously gonna be yeah so bomb tower and a tornado that that is yeah not really what we like to see but we do have the inferno for his hog which i don't believe we've revealed yet so that could end up helping us out quite a bit but we'll have to we'll have to see um does he go for a magic archer here that's the question yeah he ends up interesting that he ends up deciding to play it in the opposite lane i say we try to out cycle him here um yeah yeah he i don't think he can get back to um we're just looking for a hit we don't end up getting it but we do get the death damage and we have a pretty substantial lead right now i say we just go for an inferno um we don't know if he's got like an earthquake or something like that but all right we just go super speedy balloon here again and just hope he messes up the defense that's our best bet i mean if we get at least death damage i'm happy um and then we just have to really watch out for these magic archers i feel like that's kind of my main my main concern right now um there we go we made it uh super speedy And that's not a good sign. He ends up having an earthquake. So here we go. We're going to try to, like, bypass a building that he placed. Oh, he did it! Does he have the tornado? This is... See, this is the problem. If they have a building and a tornado, that's just frustrating. We don't even get death damage either. Man... Man, okay, this is kind of rough. Man, he has to have a building and a tornado. Uh, whoa. I lost, um, my, my, I lost grip of my phone Whew, for a second. Okay, um, all right. The, all right, last game, um, win or loss, and actually if we win it, it would be, we'd at least have a 50% win rate, um, let's get it, um, here we go, versus Yoya, um, and I think B-Ride, when he made a video on it, uh, I don't know how, but I think he, yeah, he went on a huge win streak, which I don't even know how it was possible, but, um, okay, so yeah, we're just going to pressure here. Unfortunately, I don't have the super uh, speedy balloon available, but we do have the knight and the balloon. Um, I don't know if we're cheating because we're not using the, the, you know, the, the super speedy balloon, but um, we are going to be able to take his tower, and this is going to potentially be a tower trade here, unless my Inferno can actually come in clutch and... Yeah, wow, Inferno's gonna help a lot right here, and if he goes in for a Balloon, then we just go Super Speedy Balloon and 3 Crown, if he goes Balloon right now. Or I might Archers to try to defend lightly, and then if he does something like Fireball them, then we just go Super Speedy Balloon and go for the 3 Crown, because he'll be low on Elixir, obviously. So here we go, now's our chance. Skeleton Barrel's pushing it, Rage comes down. Death damage comes in. And basically, as long as he doesn't, like, three crown us right here, we win because we're so close to three crowning him. We just need death damage, and that's game. 
So one more super speedy balloon push should be able to three crown him. So we got enough now. We go for our super speedy balloon. Skeleton Barrel's pushing it. Do we get... We got it. Let's go. So there you guys have it. Um, it's not a meta deck. It's not even a good deck. Um, you know, but it's fun. And that's all that matters. And we still had a 50% win rate. Despite all the losses, we won one game, two games, three games, four games. We lost one, two, three, four. So 50% win rate, which honestly is fine because it means we didn't tilt. So if you guys are looking for a fun deck to use early season, highly recommend this deck. Um, so yeah, just honestly, I'm kind of glad V-Red made a video on this deck and I found out about this because it, it like yesterday... When I was trying it out for the first time, I had so much fun. Like, even more than now when recording it. Um, just the idea. I don't even know how he came up with the idea of this. Because I don't remember anyone else doing it before. Um, at least I can say I came up with the idea of the Rage. Because the Rage, in my opinion, makes it even more fun. Even though you lack defense, the offense is just broken. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos. I can do more videos like this um, on off-meta decks. I could even try to make my own off-meta deck and try to, like, have somewhat success with it. You know, as in not lose, like, every game. But kind of like this, have at least a 50% win rate. Um, I could try to make my own deck. I don't know, like, how successful it will be, but I tried out. Um, but, yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to like it if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And thanks again until next time, guys.